Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Depending on where you are in this world, God bless you. This is Gloria White coming to you from Utah, USA. Today we're continuing in the Complete Apocrypha. We are in the book of 2nd Ezra. We are in chapter 13. And it came to pass after seven days, I dreamed a dream by night. And behold, there arose a wind from the sea, that it moved all the waves thereof. And I saw, and behold, this wind caused to come up from the midst of the sea, as it were the likeness of a man. And I saw, and behold, that man flew with the clouds of heaven. And when he turned his countenance to look, all things trembled that were seen under him. And whenever the voice went out of his mouth, all they burned that heard his voice, like as the wax melts when it feels the fire. And after this I saw, and behold, there was gathered together a multitude of men, out of number, from the four winds of heaven, to make war against the man that came out of the sea. And I saw, and behold, he carved himself a great mountain and flew upon it. But I sought to see the region or place where the mountain was graven, and I could not. And after this I saw, and behold, all they which were gathered together to fight against him were sore afraid, and yet dared fight. And behold, as he saw the assault of the multitude that came, he neither lifted up his hand, nor held spear, nor any instrument of war, but only I saw how that he sent out of his mouth, as it had been a flood of fire, and out of his lips a flaming breath, and out of his tongue he cast out sparks of the storm, and these were all mixed together the flood of fire, the flaming breath, and the great storm, and fell upon the assault of the multitude which was prepared to fight, and burned all of them up, so that upon a sudden of an innumerable multitude nothing was to be perceived, but only dust of ashes and smell of smoke. When I saw this, I was amazed. Afterward, I saw the same man come down from the mountain and call to him another multitude, which was peaceful. And many people came to him, whereof some were glad, some were sorry. Some of them were bound, and some brought of those who were offered. Then, through great fear, I awakened and prayed to the Most High and said, you have showed your servant these wonders from the beginning and have counted me worthy that you, should that you should receive my prayer. And now show me moreover the interpretation of this dream. For as I conceive in my understanding, woe to those who will be left in those days and much more woe to those who are not left. For those who were not left will be in heaviness, understanding the things that are laid up in the latter days, but not attaining to them. But woe to them also that are left for this cause, for they will see great perils and many necessities, like as these dreams declare. Yet it is better for one to be in peril and to come into these things than to pass away as a cloud out of the world, and not to see the things that will happen in the last days. And he answered to me and said, The interpretation of the vision will I tell you, and I will also open to you the things whereof you made mention, whereas you have spoken of those who are left behind. This is the interpretation. He that will endure the peril in that time will keep those who are fallen into danger. 
even such as have works and faith toward the Almighty. Know therefore that they which are left behind are more blessed than those who are dead. These are the interpretations of the visions. Whereas you saw a man coming up from the midst of the sea, this is he whom the Most High has kept a great season, which by his own self will deliver his creature, and he will order those who are left behind. And whereas you saw that out of the mouth there came wind and fire and storm, and whereas he held neither spear nor any instrument of war, but destroyed the assault of that multitude which came to fight against him. This is the interpretation. Behold, the days come when the Most High will begin to deliver those who are upon the earth, and there will come astonishment of mind upon those who dwell on the earth. And one will think to war against another, city against city, place against place, people against people, and kingdom against kingdom. And it will be when these things will come to pass, and the signs will happen which I showed you before. Then will my son be revealed, whom you saw as a man ascending, and it will be when all the nations hear his voice, every man will leave his own land and the battle they have against one another, and an innumerable multitude will be gathered together, as you saw, desiring to come and to fight against him. But he will stand upon the top of Mount Zion, and Zion will come and will be showed to be to be showed to all men, the mountain graven without hands. And this is my son, will rebuke, and this, my son, will rebuke the nations which are come for their wickedness with plagues that are like to temptest, and will taunt them to their face with their evil thoughts, and the torments with which they will be tormented which are likened to a flame, and he will destroy them without labor by the law, which is likened to fire. And whereas you saw that he gathered to him another multitude that was peaceful, these are the ten tribes which were led out away out of their own land in the time of Osi, the king whom Salmanerser, the king of the Assyrians, led away captive. And he carried them beyond the river, and they were carried into another land. But they took this counsel among themselves, that they would leave the multitude of the heathen and go out into a further country, where never mankind lived, that they might keep there that they might there keep their statutes, which they had not kept in their own land. And they entered by the narrow passages of the river Euphrates. For the Most High then performed signs for them, and held back the springs of the river, until they had passed over. For through many, for through that country, there was a great way to go, namely of a year and a half, and the same region is called ar -Zareth. Then they lived there until the latter time. And now when they begin to come again, the Most High holds back the springs of the river again, that they may go through. Therefore you saw the multitude gathered together with peace, but those that are left behind of your people are those who are found within my holy border. It will be there for when he will destroy the multitude of the nations that are gathered together. He will defend the people that remain 
and then will he show them very many wonders. Then said I, O oh Lord, that bear rule, show me this, why I have seen the man coming up from the midst of the sea. And he said to me, like as one can neither seek out nor know what is in the deep of the sea, even so can no man upon earth see my son or those that be with him, but in the time of his day. This is the interpretation of the dream which you saw, and for this you only are enlightened herein. For you have forsaken your own ways and applied your diligence to mine and have sought out my law. Your life have you ordered in wisdom and have called understanding your mother. And therefore have I showed you this. For there is a reward laid up with the Most High and it will be after another three days I will speak other things to you and declare to you mighty and wondrous things. Then I went out and passed into the field, giving praise and thanks greatly to the Most High because of his wonders, which he did from time to time, and because he governs the time, and such things as fall in their seasons. And there I sat three days. And as always, I love you.